Okay, if we assume that this yellow line is line marked on the ground, that's pointing towards the black box, is our target line, then to hit a dead straight golf shot, we would need to ensure that we have a vertical D plane at impact, which is made up of the angle of club face and the dynamic loft, which is this metal shaft that I've got coming out of the club head, and the club head path and the angle of approach, which is the white line that you'll see, the white stick that you'll see on the ground there. If the club head is pointing towards the target, the club head is traveling towards the target with a particular type of angle of approach, and we have a certain dynamic loft, that creates the vertical D-plane. The vertical D-plane means that the ball will, will start within that plane, closer to the dynamic loft of face angle than the path angle of approach, and it will spin with very little side spin. The ball generally spins at, at 90 degrees to the uh, D-plane. Now, some of the things that we've been playing around with, which I think are quite interesting, is when we start to use clubs like wedges, and this is actually only a pitching wedge, we could, we could increase this with a sound wedge but we start to hit high love shots, bunker shots. Uh, it's commonly thought that rules might not apply in terms of where the ball starts between the face and path. However, if we look at this, where the leading edge here is at the right, around this, this leading edge is pointing well off to the right, uh, the D-plane vector, the top D-plane vector representing the point of contact on the golf club where the uh, dynamic loft and face angle are pointing you'll notice hasn't really changed. So the D-plane line is actually still very vertical, meaning that although it looks like the face is way to the right, the ball is actually still going to start within the D-plane. It's still going to start, it's going to be very vertical, the D-plane, therefore there won't be much uh, axis tilt, so the ball won't curve away to the right, it'll just spin, spin backwards. Uh, and if we actually lower the hands, as you'll find with some some very good bunker players, some very good exponents of the high lob, and that in, in itself actually brings that D-plane vector even more, even more vertical, again ensuring that when we swing the golf club through impact, if we can create these alignments, what to some people might look like a very open club face, if they're using the, uh, the definition of the, point in the, the direction of the club at 90 degrees to the leading edge, they would suggest that's way, way to the right. However, hopefully this demonstration shows you that the point of contact, where the ball contacts on the golf club, which is the most important thing, is actually still pointing straight down the target line, and therefore it's uh, not uh, surprising that the ball starts towards the target, and because of the vertical D-plane, has little or no side spin, and the spin axis is remaining at 90 degrees with the D-plane. Have a little play around with that. I think it's quite an interesting uh, uh, development on, sh on D playing on short game shots. Uh, it might challenge some uh, some people's thought process as regards club face and swing path uh, alignments for short game shots.